In this question, we are told that fx can also be written as 4 times x minus p times x minus q, and we have to find the value of p and the value of q. The key here is to use the value of m from the previous question part, which is 4. Substituting into the first expression that we have here for fx, we get that it is equal to 4 times x squared minus 2 times 4 times x. Factorizing 4x from both terms, we get 4x times x minus 2. For explanation's sake, I will go one step further here and write this as 4 times x minus 0 times x minus 2. And comparing this result with the other form that we have for fx, we see that 0 corresponds to p and 2 corresponds to q. Therefore, we can write that p is equal to 0 and that q is equal to 2. Of course, you can also say that p is 2 and q is 0. Let's see an exam taking tip that you can take away from here. The comment term in the previous question part is show that, and the answer given there is m equals to 4. Keep in mind that the show that command is a hint that you will need to use the result on the following question part or question parts. Part A in this question is relatively long and quite difficult, but even if you're unable to solve part A here, you can still use the given result, so m equals to 4, in question part B to get the two marks.